Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I have a couple little simple Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. I haven't been crafting as much, but they are so simple and very cute if you wanna put them even outside on display, uh, especially the little centerpiece that I created using all Dollar Tree material. I hope you guys enjoy these and they inspire you to make DIYs, complicated ones or simple ones. Until next time everyone, enjoy. So I'm using one of the tall glass vases and the tower tumbling game from the Dollar Tree. There are neutral wood pieces and then there are some sets that have this already pre-stained wood and because I'm doing a more modern twist to this and I will show you the transformation, I thought I'll just use these brown tumbling tower blocks because this is perfect for the idea that I had. If you have a wider vase, make sure that you just add a few more pieces to make up for the space that you need. In this case, these tumbling tower blocks fit the vase perfectly from the Dollar Tree and I also wanted to add some little walls to the side. You do not need to use wood glue as I am using in this video. You can use Elmer's glue, regular school glue, hot glue. There is no weight that's going to be supported by this base going to be leveled with surface so you don't have to worry about it falling apart if it did. Now I've taken some black acrylic paint and I mixed it with water so it's just more of a stain. I wanted to keep a little bit of the brown kind of peeking through. Completely up to you if you want to cover it with uh, acrylic paint. Also if you want to distress it you can then take some sandpaper once it's dry of course take some sandpaper or a nail file something like that and then just rub it along the wood pieces and you'll give it a more distressed look i'm also taking a plastic toy from the dollar tree you can use a different animal that you like this one here is a horse and i'm using straight acrylic black paint for it and give it a really nice matte finish and if you wanted to make it glossy you can use some of the mod podge finish and then cover it as well and then i'm taking gold foil leaves from the dollar tree and their new uh, spray adhesive that I purchased recently. You can use Mod Podge for this. You don't have to use a spray adhesive. I just wanted to test it out and see how it works. So here I just sprayed a little area making sure I'm wiping any excess glue. Then you want to make sure you're applying your or pressing down the gold leaf foil with a dry finger. Otherwise you'll just be fighting. It's so delicate and so sensitive. You'll just be fighting with it. So make sure every time you're pressing down you're using a nice clean dry no glue sticky stuff on your fingers no water and uh, it'll just be easier otherwise again you'll see that it just wants to peel back and move away and then i added gold leaf just to certain areas to accent it i wanted to make it look almost like a stone type of decor you would wouldn't really know that it is plastic and adding it to the hooves as well and I just love the way this turned out. It looks so high end once I put it out on display. And then I'm gonna share with you how I finished the glass vase so that you have a couple options on how to use it for decor in your house. Of course you can purchase some wood pieces like this from the Dollar Tree to use as filler. You can also find things outdoors or just fill them with say for example you wanted to put fruit depending on where you're setting it up it could be indoors outdoors uh, just maybe suit your home decor right so i'm using the battery pack and i'm sitting it in the center of the vase so that i can hide it amongst the wood cutouts actually purchased from dollar tree and i love the way this looks at night you can use this outside on a patio table or a coffee table in the living room in the kitchen in a bedroom it has a really beautiful glow because of the led lights so these of course are really tiny twinkle lights so pretty i love the stand and it just fits perfectly like this and um, at night i wish i could share with you how it looks it never captures really that great on camera so this is one option and then i gave i'm going to give you another little more modern twist as well so you can take some sand from outdoors the beach or you can grab some sand packs from the Dollar Tree fill it a little bit along the bottom and then depending on the size of candle you want this one here is an LED candle just plop it in and look how romantic the lighting is off of it looks so pretty and you can put it outside so again two completely different looks two very simple DIYs you can make a whole bunch of stands some wider if you have different size glass vases you can make some wider stands some narrower ones you can change the led lights inside you can put a whole if you have a larger hurricane shape 
You can put more LED lights inside, so it could fit maybe three of them. Um, if you have a smaller LED light from the Dollar Tree, it's totally up to you. I hope that this inspires you to create your own DIYs. I'd love to hear down below if you would create something this simple and elegant for your home. And until next time, everyone, I want to say thank you so very much for watching and bye for now.